Good afternoon, Chuck Hawkins with Hawkins Outfitters and today I'd like to share with you a little tip of something I created to help me change flies or replace flies late in the evening going into dark. As most of you know, that certain time of year, late May, going in well into June, we have the most complex possible hatches of really of any time of the year. You can have sulfur spinning, isonicheas spinning, bat flies spinning, brown drakes hatching, brown drakes spinning, all kinds of stuff going on, and generally it's dark or real close to dark. Now, at my advanced age, unfortunately, it gets harder and harder to thread these flies onto my tippet as that sun goes down. So first off, one of the tips I want to give you is one of the cheapest things that we have in our entire fly fishing repertoire is tippet. So make sure you've got enough of it on there to tie a knot. Don't be fighting with one inch of tippet to get your clinch knot to change a fly. Give yourself some material to deal with. And then secondly, I want to show you this neat little thing I found. And it actually came from, stems from, an old threader fly box I had from Orvis that had these fly threaders on them. And those are kind of expensive and they don't last forever. So I came up with this, which is a sewing machine needle threader. That's to, to thread a needle for a sewing machine with, or any needle, I guess, to sew. Well, you can take this little double and you'll notice that that thin wire right there deals very effectively with the parachute hackle that our tippet doesn't deal with and allows you to point and push that right through the eye so that it ends up like this. And even I can thread my tippet through this hole very simply. All I do is pull the tippet through, grab both ends, pull the fly off of this threader. Now, the way to do this in the evening, as you're out waiting, is you thread your flies. And I should point out that when I'm doing this, many times I'm threading three or four different dry flies getting ready for a potential spinner fall and or hatch. So I have them ready at my disposal if things get hot and heavy. If you're waiting, simply do that. And then you can hook your fly onto your patch or onto your magnet. and that doesn't seem to want to come out very easily. And also this fly costs two or three dollars and these cost 50 cents or something like that. So this is a neat little trick for when the sun goes down to get make your fly changes quickly and efficiently and create a more successful outing for yourself. Thanks for listening. Tight lines.